Hey there guys, this is Zach from SJP and today we're going to be taking a look at probably one of the fastest ROMs you can install on your Galaxy S3 or Galaxy S4. Guys, let's take a look at the AOKP ROM. So right up off the bat, let me say that yes, AOKP's logo is a unicorn. But don't let that fool you. AOKP is probably one of the fastest and most powerful ROMs that you could get on your Galaxy S3 and Galaxy S4. There's literally no stutters when you're going through this device using this ROM. And at the end, you're also getting a lot of customizable features with this ROM. Essentially, you're getting the latest version of Android with a bunch of features. Down below will be the links for you to install this ROM for the selected Galaxy S3s and S4s, and a lot of them are actually supported. So as you can see, we are running Android 4.3, and since I have the AT&T S4, I'm running a special build of AOKP, which is by Task650, but for the other versions of the S4 you, or S3, you will be installing the normal AOKP. What's special about AOKP is how many features they're able to include. On normal ROM, when it's this fast, you don't expect to see that many features, but you're definitely getting a lot here. You could customize the different things like changing the UI mode of your device to a phablet or tablet, and you also get some useful features like enabling a kill all button in your multitasking which basically allows you to kill all of them instead of swiping them each way. There's a lot of features like this in this ROM that let you get full customization out of your device. You could even go and change the animations. One thing that I really like about this ROM is that it doesn't fill you with a bunch of features that are going to be useless. You could go in a lock screen and change different icons and add shortcuts. And there's also stuff like going in a power menu where you could basically enable torch and extra buttons. So when you're there and hold on the power button, you get a lot more options for quick tasks, which ends up being really useful. Of course, for those of you that want to have that navigation bar back, you do get this option in the AOKP ROM. And actually, you don't get that option in a lot of ROMs, like even CyanogenMod doesn't offer you this. But if you want to ditch those physical buttons at the bottom, you now can using this ROM. Of course, your toggles are customizable with this ROM, and it gives you a lot more options than you would get on stock Android. You could go here and rearrange the different toggles and also add from all the different choices that they give you. If we go back and go to the bottom, you also do get an installer, which basically helps you with installing ROMs, though that's a little bit more of an advanced setting for you bigger tweakers. Another favorite for this ROM is the battery. If we go here, we get a bunch of options to choose from, and Circle Mod is one of them, which you Cyanogen Mod people know about, as that's a really popular battery. A big worry with a lot of ROMs is all the different bugs that it has. But AOKP is one of the few ROMs that I can say that actually doesn't have any bugs. They're always updating and they're always improving. And I still, to this day, after using a AOKP on all my devices, have not noticed any bugs. They keep it very stable and they don't release anything that's going to give you a bad experience on your device. They really want to make sure that you're getting a fast, stable, and featureful experience. As I said before, the links for this ROM are down below. I'll have two separate links, one for the AOKP for AT&T S4, and the other one will include all the other S3s and S4s. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe for more Android ROM videos, and comment down below what ROM you want us to review next. Guys, I hope you like my video, and thanks for watching.